A strong message from Sacramento's cannabis czar after an audit finds widespread troubles with the city's pot shops. By the rules and be compliant or not do business in the city of Sacramento. Tonight, questions about how the city will handle these bothersome businesses. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Belay is live at City Hall getting answers on the city's enforcement efforts. Drew? Well, Tony and Christina, medical marijuana has been able to be sold in Sacramento for more than a decade, but the office that is now tasked with overseeing it has only been around for a few months. And so now they must tame the wild west of weed. I don't think they're prepared. Doubt and concern from some in the community after a scathing audit of the city's medical marijuana dispensaries. I think we were more doubting the resources of the city to make sure that they were complying with the rules. An audit of the 30 shops in the city showed a handful of them either didn't keep adequate records or were severely underpaying city taxes. We like to think that the, uh, the profits from the marijuana businesses will be trickling down to the neighborhoods. Uh, but we're not really seeing it. Ross Hendricks says the business owners aren't the only ones to blame, but a lack of city resources as well. Code enforcement, police, um, building inspectors. They know that their window of becoming compliant is, is short and closing, and there are going to be real consequences if they don't. Joe Devlin is the chief of cannabis policy and enforcement. He says marijuana businesses have been operating without rules and regulations for decades, which has led to sloppy bookkeeping and misinformation. Play by the rules and be compliant or not do business in the city of Sacramento. Since the audit, one dispensary had its license suspended. A handful of others were issued warnings. Devlin says that business owners are now shaping up. 10 of our 30 dispensaries have retained a compliance consultant. The city is doing hiring of its own, trying to gear up for the flood of new businesses like cultivators and manufacturers that will open shortly after January 1st. We're building and have built capacity towards um, the, the regulatory and enforcement infrastructure that we need to manage this industry. Now the city still has to make a decision on how they want to handle um, the recreational sale of cannabis and that discussion is going to happen after Thanksgiving and we can expect it to be a long one and a lot of differing viewpoints from the council that'll be heard. Yeah, much more to come on this, Drew, thank you.